darkness, silence, how great it is to experience you. March 2007, Sydney, Australia, homes and witnesses switch off their lives for an hour. This event gave birth to a green hour for the Earth Hour. An hour a year when we stop using anything that is run by electricity and giving our Earth one hour to rest. Since then, on March of every year, countries across the world have joined for the Earth Hour. In 2008 and 2009, Thailand has graciously participated for the Earth Hour. And I am proud to say that in March of 2010, my family and I switched out our power for an hour. An hour of darkness and silence. And it was great. I like it. I like it because for this whole hour, I got to spend it with my family just catching up. My parents were talking of how it was in the past and how different it is now. What a big difference. Before, they didn't have many appliances. They had to do everything by hand. But now, most of us very even try to do anything by hand. Everything is done through the technologies that we have. Life is now more unconvenient and technology is convenient. But we are now seeing the big picture here. We are adding up to the pollution that is building up. Shocked? Yes, we are. Every time we have to use electricity and we are burning fuel, coal or on. The more we use these technologies, the more we burn fuel. And the fuel that we burn adds up to environmental problems that we have now. The effect of burning fuel is that we are producing more carbon dioxide, which heats up the atmosphere. That brings up environmental problems that like global warming and climate change. We have created the process of these problems by using too much convenient technologies that burns up too much fuel. We are responsible for all of this, and it is our responsibility to clean it up. Now, a two-week climate change summit is happening in Cancun, Mexico, and I speak. Environmental leaders all over the world are thinking of new ways of solving these problems. One of the suggestions that they have made is to face our old style light bulbs. It is known that the electricity that powers these light bulbs uses fossil fuels that add 8% of greenhouse gas emission. But with a change to a more energy efficient light bulb, would cut energy used by 2%. Even with 2%, 100 countries agree that it would have a huge economic benefit, which and definitely cut carbon emission dramatically. With this information, are we ready to do our part? Are we ready to invest on cleaner and greener solutions and give up the convenience that we love that silently healing our earth? Are we actually ready? Are we ready to switch off the lights and have that all right back shared? Or are we even ready to commit to an hour of electricity free evening for Earth Hour? That is the biggest question. Are we ready? I am. Are you? Darkness. Silence. If you can and you are concerned, next year on March of 2011, in the next Earth Hour, just an hour can make a big difference in the reduction of carbon dioxide. Let's do our share. I'm Bawan Rompum. I'm a second year vocational diploma, taking up for the languages for business here in Bangna Commercial College. Good morning. Um, how how much I uh, what 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 did you do while you switch off the light? Um, I stay with what activity? I stay with my family and talking with my family and I can do something crazy because I don't have anyone see me. Oh. Maybe I can dance and sing a song. Oh, okay, thank you.